Hello everyone, this is Cheryl and this is Miss Spicy and welcome to our channel. If it is your first time, welcome. I am so glad that you're here. If you are a repeat guest or if you've been with us, I thank you so much. If you are um, a subscriber, you know you are my heart. I thank you so much. I know I say it all the time, but I really, really appreciate you guys. Today I'm going to be on boxing boxy charm but before I start there's something so important that I have to talk about and I was gonna make a completely separate video and just discuss this um, don't do a box opening but I decided we're gonna end it with some fun um, okay here's the thing I know um, some of you know some of you don't I was really sick for a few weeks and I was fighting um, my butt off. I am fighting an autoimmune disease and I am a fighter. I will not let it um, take me down. Okay, you want to get down, pumpkin? Okay. She's got a little rash from um, the grass and um, I don't know. I, I'm going to have to take her to the vet. Back to the point. Okay. While I was sick, I watched um, so many of you on my TV. I have YouTube on my TV and I also delved into other videos and that was when the whole um, Tati, um, Jeffree Star, James Charles um, stuff came out. T. So anyway, I guilty myself. I watched it and I started feeling sick to my stomach, you know, and really started thinking deeply about what has this world come to? Okay, do you, if, if you really stop and think what tea is, and we, ooh, I wanna lap up that tea. I mean, I've heard all of the expressions about the tea. It makes my stomach turn. What you really mean is you want to get entertained by somebody's pain, you know? Thank God there was not social media when I was a young person. Lord have mercy, I would have been splattered all across it because I was out of control. <laughs> as I'm sure a lot of us were, okay? Don't take pleasure in someone else's pain. Even if it's a celebrity and they put themselves out there, they deserve it, they're still a human being. Do you know how many celebrities have killed themselves lately? Well, this singer from Prodigy, he killed himself. Chris Cornell killed himself. So, I mean, I'm, I, and I'm not gonna, just because I didn't name someone doesn't mean that it doesn't matter to you. There's just so many. Those two really struck me like they hurt. I cried, you know. Um, I'm tired of this tea thing. We have to check ourselves, and I have to check myself. I'm guilty too. I have like turned it on the uh, gossip channels. Um, I'm not knocking them. They're reporting news. They're that's what they do, and I'm not knocking it. I'm not talking bad about them. That's their thing. But it's us that are feeding off of it to make a demand for it. So I have a piping hot cup of, or pitcher of tea right here, and I am going to dump it down my drain. And I don't ever wanna hear about tea again. That's where it belongs, down the drain. I would have dumped it down my toilet, but you guys don't wanna see the inside of my toilet. So <laughs> we'll just go for the tub. Now, the tea, we've talked about that. Let's talk about receipts real quick. It is a sad, sad world again that we have to keep receipts. It just makes me sick, the term. It just makes me sick to make it in this world and not get taken down by someone who has it out against us. I had to keep receipts last year this thick. Um, long story short, one of the contracts I had, a guy took over. And he actually told me, you want me as a friend, not an enemy. And when I didn't do free things for him, free favors that he asked me to do, I would not. He decided to make an enemy of me. Next thing you know, a girl who has worked at this building for years and years and years, she went on the fourth floor, turned the water on, on a Friday, closed the, jo the door to the janitor's closet, and the entire building flooded. The water went through the fourth floor to the 
the third floor through the ceiling all the way down to the second floor. The electrical system had to be repaired, the ceilings, everything on my insurance. She didn't do that. She didn't do that. So anyway, I go and I see the lady who was over everything. Everyone called me from the other buildings and warned me that they were going to start setting me up. They apologized in advance. But they say, oh, we're not going to lose our jobs. We're really sorry. They loved us. Every other building loved us, mind you. So long story short, I go to the head lady. Okay, everyone was terrified of this guy. One of them uh, who was afraid of losing the job saw me coming with a stack like this of receipts. I kept every email and because he was so big headed, he got sloppy. And when I went to her, she couldn't keep her eyes off my stack. I didn't take them to court. I could have, I didn't do anything. I just wanted, I prayed before I got there and I said, Lord, held my husband's hand. I said, let her just see the truth. That's all I wanted. And boy, did she, and he got fired, you know? And so I had to keep those receipts. That is the world that we live in now. And it's just a sad thing. Unfortunately, receipts are a necessity. I hate to say it. You have to keep text messages between people who are snakes just to clear yourself. It's so sad. Um, I hope one day we can come to a world where we don't have to do that. I don't think that will ever happen. But the T, we can control. We can stop asking for it. We can stop looking for it. These are people. They have feelings. Um, I love Jeffree Star and I love James Charles Tati. I don't really know much about her. Um, I am a businesswoman and I mentor so many people and young people who I'm trying to keep them from going out into the streets and living a different life. And as a businesswoman and all of them call me mom, all of them. <laughs> so as a mom to a lot of people and a businesswoman, I can't ever see publicly, um, coming out and trying to hurt one of the people that I have tried to help that would have been dealt with behind closed doors. Um, I think it, my personal thing, I think it was, um, a plug for her vitamins. I can't say that that's just my opinion. Um, I don't agree with it at all. The other two, um, I'm glad Jeffrey decided to back himself out of it. Um, James, he has a young kid. Can you imagine being that age and having that success that quickly, all that money and you know, of course, come on, think of when you were that age, we will all be off out of control and we know it. I'm not excusing anyone's behavior. I'm not, all of it was deplorable. All of it from each one of them upset my stomach. Um, but I'm not holding it against any of them. They are people, we all make mistakes, they deserve to be forgiven, it needs to be let go. Um, now, when you come to these people touching little children, these other ones that are out there, they need to be hung out to dry in the prison for the rest of their life. But people making mistakes, come on, we all make them. Let's not enjoy someone's pain and publicly humiliate someone. We're going back to medieval times where we put someone in the town square and start stoning them? Really? Because that's what it is. It's just a modern day public flogging. It's not cool. So, in honor of, let's have some peace. Let's change this. Let's stop with the tea crap. Okay? In honor of that, and also pride, because my best friend, my sister, um, she is in the LBTQ, um, community, LBGTQ, I'm sorry. <laughs> my brain just went somewhere else. Um, she is my sister. She's my best friend. I love her. And I have so many friends in that community. And I am definitely a supporter of equal love, equal rights. Everyone has the right to love who they want to love and love what they want to love. We all need to worry about our own selves and what we're doing. That's our business. That's the only thing we can control is what we do. Let other people have their life and their joy, okay? In honor of that, I created this look. I hope you like it. I'm gonna do a tutorial with a beautiful pride look. I just wanted to, it would have been too long to do um, 
a box of pink, talk about what I wanted to get off my chest and do this because this took a long time. But I hope you guys get where I'm coming from. I'm coming from a place of love. I'm coming from a place of um, no judgment because like I said, I sat there in that bed and I think I watched every video on it and I had to, ca I, I'm like, what am I doing? Like I'm feeding into this. I'm just as guilty. So please don't think that I'm on a pedestal and I'm saying you can't watch that because you know, whatever. I'm just as guilty, but let's try to do better. Let's, let's try to do better and let's definitely try not to find pleasure in someone's pain. That is horrible. And let's all think back to when we were young too. <laughs> and you know, I mean, we're in the spotlight as YouTubers. I hope one day my mistakes, people don't throw them all in my face. I have a lot of them. I made a lot of mistakes when I was younger, but I wouldn't change a single thing because it made me who I am today. And just today, long story short, I'll keep it short. I had to take one of my um, ladies that I take care of to um, a appointment and she bought me this beautiful caftan because she loves to wear them. And she called me mom the whole way. And I just, I mean, I just had the biggest smile on my face the whole time. She's older than me, she called, but she looks at me as her mom and she just kept hugging me, mom, mom, you, you know, want a lollipop, mom, mom. It's just, I come in my room yesterday, there's two of them laying in my bed, my daughter <laughs> brought them here. Hi mom, you know, gosh, it feels so good. It feels so good to love and help others. Let's do that. Let's do that, try that. You know, I'm not going to ever let myself feed into that tea crap again so but do keep your receipts unfortunately you're gonna need them <laughs> so without further ado and I've gotten that off my chest and I really hope you take it and receive it the way it's meant I mean you for I mean it to be received no judgment just love just trying to make this world a better place I just want to leave even the tiniest footprint to make this place better for my children and my grandchildren and all of us. And you know what makes me really happy too? <laughs> BoxyCharm! And not only BoxyCharm, Boxy Lux. I have a stack of boxes to open, but I chose this because this is my favorite one that I have here right now. And I just thought today's just been such a special day. And I hope that was a special message because it was a special, special message to me. I have been dying to relay that to you. The whole time I was sick, I'm like, I'm not even going to write down what I'm going to say. I'm going to let the spirit just speak through me. And that's what I did. And the spirit never lets me down. And so, yeah, for that, let's open up Boxy Lex. So here we go. Comes in this box. It says getaway. Uh, tells you everything in here. I already see something I'm going to enjoy. Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast. This has got my name all over it. I love this brand and I always need volume. And I've never tried this exactly right here. I'm so excited. And it's not a dry shampoo with volume. I'm about tired of the dry shampoo thing. I found one that poof. You squirt it and powder comes out. I don't need anything else. <laughs> it's perfect. I'm gonna show it to you. It's from R Co. I think. I'll show it to you, but not today because my daughter um, has it in the other room. Okay, <laughs> we have Trustique, and I don't know what this is. So let's get into here. Trustique, um, Good Vibes Mascara. I love a good mascara. So that's a good brand. It costs, where is it? $25 for that. The Living Proof, um, where is that? That is $29. We have Clean Biotic Dr. Brandt. Ooh, he's one of my favorites. Dr. Brandt Yogurt Cleanser with Chlorophyll. $35 and this is the actual these are full um, size this is the actual price of these items touch and soul I love this brand it's a new one to me 
um, the Bum Bum Cream got me. Um, no Porblum Prime Essence. Okay, this is different than my other primer. I have a, um, another primer by them, but this one's a little different. I'm excited to try this. This one is $23. This we don't need. Oh, it landed on Feisty, poor Feisty. Okay, we have Pharmacy, oh, Honeymoon Glow, AHA Resurfacing Night Serum. Okay, and it's made from honey. Um, let's see, with hydrating honey and gentle flower acids. I am on a honey kick. I eat it all the time, but like for my face, um, it really, it makes a difference. It's so hydrating. Okay, $58. Holy crap, this is $58. Let's open it up and see what it's like. What it, that's expensive. I love um, Boxylux Honeymoon Glow. Well, you know what that means. You get that glow. <laughs> Have that great honeymoon. Okay, let's see. Does it give us the glow? Kind of. Hey. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I'm going to keep it PG. All right, let's see. That honey, oh, I told you, $58 for that. I don't know what this is. It is PYT Mini Turbo On The Go Dryer. Ooh, $85. Are you kidding? I know someone who's going to steal this, and I am going to hide it because she keeps coming in here and borrowing my dryer. Oh, no, no. This is going to be hidden. I hope she doesn't watch this video. She's going to. Brandy, you cannot have this. Okay, this is so cute. It's so little and it has the, oh my gosh, it has the attachments too. Wow. And it's got the diffuser, it fell on the floor. I'll get it so you can see it. Oh my goodness, that's like, everything's falling. Oh my gosh, okay. Yeah, so it's got this thing. Okay, yeah, I am so happy for that. 85 bucks, you kidding me? You guys outdid yourself, Boxy Lux. We have, oh my goodness, just um, yesterday, my daughter and all of her girls were in here and they were trying to get my tardiest um, Pro Glow kit, right? She's like, what? I gave her a bunch of palettes. She's like, when are you coming off of this? It's never. And so, because I tried to get one through the FabFitFun sale and they were sold out, right? It was one time when I was late. So here is, I got another one. This is volume three. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, okay. It's got two blushes, two highlighters, three highlighters, and a contour. So I guess, honey, um, Honey Child is going to get my old one. <laughs> I can't believe this. That's so crazy because just yesterday she was in here begging for it. If, if you ever can get your hands on the Tarte, um, any of those Pro Glow palettes, they're amazing. Always like what I do with the um, highlighter though is I'll use a cream highlighter. Like for instance, um, no. I don't have any out right now, but yes, I do. Okay, I'll use like this hourglass one and, you know, put it here so it's a little tacky and then I'll take my finger and dip it into the powder and, and stick it into the tackiness. So you get like that blinding highlight that's gonna stay all day. This isn't gonna move. And you can actually make it so blinding, they can see it from space if you want when you do it that way. Okay, so that um, that is $45 for that palette. Now mind you, this box is like, I, oh, I'll put how much in this description. I believe it's 45 for this one. Okay, Skin & Co, Truffle Therapy, Radiant Dew. Okay, Illuminating Skin Refresh Mist. 
Now the cream to this is heavenly. It's made in Italy and it's just, oh, it's such a treat. $35 for this um, face mist is the price. And we still have one more item. We have um, Dominique Cosmetics. It's a lemonade lip gloss and it's $17. Let's see what it looks like. You okay, Flies? She's scratching so bad. I don't know what it is. She doesn't have fleas. I've given her her drops. It's something in the grass and all of my friends and all of my neighbors, their dogs are clawing themselves to death. I've been giving her coconut oil. I'm giving her this um, allergy pill, um, the omega thing, the oil she licks. I I'm, I'm trying everything the vet said to do and she's still just clawing herself to death. I, I don't know what it is outside that is, and it's not just my dog. It's crazy. I feel so bad for her. I keep giving her oatmeal baths and... Okay, this is 17 bucks lemonade lip gloss and it looks like such a pretty color. Let's put it over our honeymoon glow. <laughs> oh yeah, that is so pretty for summer. Just a little light wash of color for your lips. That is so pretty. You can either um, put a lipstick under it to make it opaque. I would just do this and get a sheer wash of color. I think that would be great. So I don't know, one more time, I'm gonna show you my little um, look that I put together. And I let me show you what I used to do it. And I did this for a reason. I use Jeffree Star's Blue Blood Palette, and I used James Charles Morphe Palette. So, here, you know, has this like all these rainbow colors. I'm sure you've all seen it, but yeah. And this one here is just one of my favorites too. I use them both together for a reason. Look how pretty they are together. If we can all come together, we can create gorgeous things. That was my um, concept behind this. Let's just all come together. Let's stop um, trying to find enjoyment from other people's failure and let's spread the love around. That's what pride is about. It's not just about um, this or that. It's mainly about love the right to love who you want to love. I love everyone and I hope you guys do too. Even people who have hurt me, um, I don't hate them, let's put it that way. I've had some people that have destroyed me through my life. I've forgiven them. I don't have any animosity towards them. I would never let them around my children or anything like that because they are a danger, but I don't have hatred in my heart and that's so healing. So anyway, I love you guys, I really do, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope I didn't ramble too much, <laughs> but I really had to get that off my chest. And I hope um, everyone has a wonderful evening. I appreciate you. If you have not subscribed, please hit the red button. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I love y'all. I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah. I can't turn my camera off. <laughs> Bye guys.